All right, welcome back to the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. Mike Catalana, uh, I am Jenna Cottrell. We're here in Orchard Park as Brandon Bean doing his end of the season press conference today. A lot. He talked for almost yeah. almost an hour in this one. Uh, we know a lot of Bills fans unhappy with the way the season ended. Before we get started, though, please be sure to like, comment, and as well as subscribe if you enjoy our content. Mike, I want to talk about this. We've, we've talked so much about how it's always been the Chiefs and the Bills are chasing the Chiefs. Yeah. The Bengals beating them. The Bengals, the AFC champions, heading into this weekend with another chance at it and we talked today about is this team even behind the Bengals now and I oh, thought yeah. it was interesting what Brandon Bean had to say yeah I thought he was a little defensive about it to be honest with you uh, because he's saying look we won 13 games yeah. we only played the Bengals one time we lost to them and it was right behind us here yeah. the game wasn't that close I get it uh, and he doesn't want to base too much in the offseason on the Bengals yeah. But the Bengals are in the AFC title game. They were in the Super Bowl. They are ahead of the Bills right now. Yeah. You have to admit that. We know the Chiefs are because, what is this, fifth straight year in the AFC championship trying to get yeah. back to another Super Bowl. Gross. So that's the reality of where they are now between these teams. The Bills, I think, begin next year third in the AFC. I don't see yeah. any way you would have them higher. And the reason I say defensive is because he's done a lot of great things here with the Bills. But I don't think he wanted to admit today they've taken a step back, but they've kind of taken a minor one, I would say, step back, a bit of a reevaluation. Because, yeah. Jenna, they came into this year as the team that was the Super Bowl favorite. Yeah, I feel like today had a different tone. And I was thinking about where we were last year, at the end of last season, that ending in Kansas City, coming back here, talking to Brandon Bean, and it was like – you know, we, we we're, we're close, like all of these things. Whereas this year, it just it did. It did feel like I'm not going to say defensive in terms of Brandon Bean's attitude. It was just uncomfortable because there are serious questions about this team moving forward. Yeah. And I don't want to have that taken the wrong way when I say defensive. I should have said defending his team a little bit more. Yeah. I think that's a little different of I a tone. Like, yeah. I think it was more like, look, we won a lot of games. Not happy. And he did admit we were not playing our best. He's saying we were not yeah. playing our best at the end of the year. You need to be doing that in the playoffs. Multiple reasons for that. You know, he did talk about some of the injuries, some of the guys banged up. I get all of that. Yeah. But that's the reality of the world in the NFL. You have to be playing your best at the same time. He's defending what he has here because it's going to change. Some of the things are going to change yeah. during this offseason. But you know, you are dealing with Joe Burrow. You are dealing with Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. On the plus side, you have Josh Allen. So yeah. that gives you a shot right away. It is so interesting, though. He talked about how this team never played a complete game. And right. I would agree with that. And, and he talks about how you want to be peaking at the right time heading into the playoffs. The Bills down the stretch really struggled in a lot of games, barely winning or keeping teams in it as well. Let's be real, though. When they lost games over earlier on in the season, it was by, what, eight points, I yeah, think, total? Yeah, three total losses. So there, there is a lot to discuss. But, you know, it was brought up about Ken Dorsey as well as Leslie Frazier. Frustration from fans about Dorsey. Are they getting enough out of the offense with Leslie? Are they doing enough on the defense? And – I felt like Bean was – he said what he had. To, like, yeah. he didn't really say anything that I was like, wow, I'm so shocked. Yeah, he was supportive. Yes. But he wasn't overly effusive like, these guys have been awesome. Yeah. Like, you know, he said, doesn't always go the way you want. Yeah. Uh, he said, you know, Leslie has yeah. been is a pro, which yeah. he is. Yeah. I mean, these are all positive things. I don't think they're making a move now based on what McDermott said and what Bean said, but you never know the way it works yeah. in the NFL. Things yeah. do change. I don't think that's happening, but it wasn't like full on everything was great yeah. with the two of them. Um, I, you Because know, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Yeah. And when you're saying that about your coordinators, like, yeah, you know, you, you like, he said, like Josh wants some throws back, you probably want some things back. I get that. Um, they need better. They need better out of those guys. But some of that falls on Brandon Bean. Yeah. Because I think the Support. roster lacked some talent in certain areas. Or some guys they counted on didn't come through as much. So yeah. while we'd all like to have a nice simple answer, uh, that's not a simple answer. And that goes back to your point of you base everything on this last game. Yeah. Boy, if you based everything on the last game, you'd be starting over again. I mean, they got run over by the yeah. Bengals. I think that's a little dramatic, but as far as the coordinators, if you're looking for them to be gone, I don't think that's happening, but that's not 100%. I mean, you never know. Something could happen. It's still early in the offseason. Well, and this falls on Brandon Bean to add more talent, to have guys, and, and is he going to sign guys back, and which ones will, will those yeah. be? I mean, Jordan Poyer, Tremaine Edmonds, he was asked directly about those two, but those two guys, one of 
two of 21 total players that are set to become free agents in the offseason. Yeah. And he talked about Poyer a little bit longer, but just how he had the ultimate respect for him. And Poyer's dealt with some injuries as well this season. He's getting older, all of these things. But he said, we would like to sign him. And I think he said, if we could. Yeah. I don't think it's happening. Yeah, I, I just either. don't. And I would say this. Everything he said about Poyer, I think he believes 100%. I, yeah, yeah. That still doesn't mean you're going to be able to sign him yeah. or want to. He's in his 30s. He's coming off some injuries. So old. And they need, they need to get younger in those positions. It may not be the best thing on the field, certainly maybe for the first half of next year, depending on who's playing in that spot. Yeah. But they do have Micah Hyde. They expect him back. Yeah. I mean, we don't know about DeMar Hamlin. That's, you know, way yes. in the future. Yes. I mean, to be talking about football. But they also have the draft. They have other ways to accumulate players. I, I think what he said about Poyer was accurate, and I think he believes it. But sometimes it happens when a guy gets a little older, injuries, and the contract comes to an end, and you have another 30-plus-year-old. Yeah. Uh, safety there with Edmonds it's different and he did bring up the point about the franchise tag yeah. and it's an issue because Edmonds as an outside guy in the three four gets or defense gets lumped in with the pass rushers so that yeah. means that franchise tag is really high yeah. and they'd have to clear out a lot of space even to use the tag so and, I don't know and they don't have a lot to work with in terms of that salary cap space where things are right now. And Brandon Bean even spoke about how they're going to have to get creative in the offseason, what they do, the roster moves they make, or how they go about it because that is malleable. Do you think he lied to us again like he did last year when he said nothing big is going to be coming and then he signed Von Miller? Yeah, he did say last year he wasn't going to do anything big. He wasn't going big fishing in free agency and then signed Von Miller. And this year he said, we're not going to have another Von Miller type signing. So maybe if he signs a wide receiver, he can say, well, Von Miller's a defensive player. So I signed an offensive guy. So I didn't lie to you guys. Hey, look, he could fully lie to us. That's his yeah, business. That's whatever. You know, we yeah. can, you know, but he did say that last year and then signed Von. But I think I, it's going to be harder. I think it definitely will be harder. But that being said, I don't rule out anything because of where this team is at. Uh, what the results were here and just what the results are in terms of the conference and the league. You yeah. can't base everything off of one game, but I think that game was kind of a culmination of the trends that we were seeing for this latter half of the season. Yeah, and when you look at it, you say to yourself, like, where do you want to be? And I think before the Bengals game, you could still be feeling positive. Yeah. You know, they were in a position to get to the AFC title game, yeah. and they lost. I think it's a combination of a lot that we saw and then the way that game ended. I don't know. If they played the Bengals again next week, would the game be exactly the same? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't, but I don't think so. No, I don't think but. so either. What I'm saying is that's why you don't overreact in that way. you got to look at the full picture. they got to look at it. was a terrible year for health. Yes. So if you take that into account without making it an excuse, I mean, players lost to injury or playing hurt was absurd yeah. this year yeah. for them. So they'll look at some of that. They'll look at some things coaching wise because there'll always be some changes. Yeah. And then they got free agency, the draft. They got younger players trying to move up. So yeah. they'll be busy. They will now be in more of an underdog role, which is not something that they've been you know, heading into the last season, obviously the Super Bowl favorites, all of that. Yeah. Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? You mean my, that was my question? Yes. Was it a good question? Good question. I'm cold, so I am. St I, I just want to – let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I asked him that because they came into last year as the prohibitive yeah. Super Bowl favorite. Yeah. And they are an underdog. And he yeah. was like, well, I'm not sure about being yeah. – yeah. Well, they're an underdog to those two teams. Yeah. Kansas City and Cincinnati and yeah. then the division's better and you never know what anybody else is going to do so yeah. I think it's a good thing I do I do too I mean the Bills were favorites in every game they played in the season yeah and I think that sometimes that gets a little stale yeah. and I think that this team has always loved being in that spot where people count them out and now this year people will be counting them out all right and I know you're cold so we're going to get out of here in a minute but the one other thing I wanted to add is left unsaid by Bean was we did lose. We do have to make some changes. And I think it frees him up a little bit. And I'm not saying like yeah. he wants to move on from Jordan Poyer, but sometimes you got to do that. And sometimes you need to get fresh blood in and you need to get younger yeah. and change things around. I do think, and then in this building behind us, 
front of us and behind us, there'll be that feeling of people are counting us out because they are. They're already yeah. talking about Super Bowl windows closing. Yeah. So let that be the vibe for next year. Yeah. Let that be the way they approach the off season. I think that can be a positive. Yeah. No, I agree. I think it motivates you in a different way. And I think because of that, your mindset and your thought process will be different. And you might act with a little bit more urgency than maybe. And the realization that it's going to take more as well. Yeah. And it's just not handed to it. You, we all know that. It's not handed. Yeah. they got to go out and work. But there are some things in their favor. It begins with 17. Yeah. Go out and get the quarterback some help. And I think this team can be on the right path again. Agreed. All right. Thank you. Mike. You're welcome. I'm Jenna. <laughs> I don't know why I said thank you. I'm not, I don't, we got to get food. I'm, I've been hangry all day. All uh. right. For Mike, I'm Jenna. Um, we'll catch you next time here on Buffalo Plus. Please be like, like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys.